And there is the red light symbolizing that we are live. All right, all there. right. Before I introduce, let my guests introduce themselves. I have a couple of announcements to make, and I wrote them down this time so I don't forget anything or mishap anything. And it seems like sometimes when I still write it down, I, I get to freestyling, but I'm going to try to go. So here are the <laughs> announcements before we get started. I'm going to sit down and thank you to all my subscribers and my followers for your ongoing support. I appreciate it. If you like to subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can find the link in the description. Or if not, just look for Wizzo Talk on YouTube. Just don't forget to hit the notification bell because I go to, I don't have a set schedule. So I go by, we I post accordingly to my guest availability. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we post. If you like to be a guest on the show, always looking for guests. So please hit me up and we'll be more than glad, happy to have you on the show. And just remember that subscribing, liking, and sharing is 100% free. Don't cost you anything. I appreciate your support. Those are the announcements. Take due notice thereof and govern yourself support. Let's meet our guests. Come on with it, Rara. Elder. Hey, hey, shalom, shalom, everybody. Uh, this is our second time coming to uh, be with uh, my good friend, uh, Wizzo. <laughs> we go back a little ways bad and you know we were on here one time before and we got into a little back and forth with some of the people because of the the doctrine that we have in the way that we explain the bible and um our organization is elders of israel i'm elder stephan uh that's elder uh Yohanan. and uh we've been um we've been uh teaching this doctrine that we understand to be the doctrine of Christ. He left a specific way uh, on how to read the Bible. And that's why we're here. So um, just like uh, Wizzo said, you know, I, I wrote some stuff down because I don't want to leave anything out. All right. So to kind of give you a, a, a overview of what we're supposed to discuss tonight. OK. And um the things that we will discuss number one did jesus really walk on water <laughs> number two did jonah live inside a whale number three what really happened to jesus's body after he was buried all right first thing we want to say is we are not telling people what to do nope that is your choice to do what your mind leads you to do. Right. We are prophets or teachers of the spiritual translation of the Bible. That is Jesus's doctrine and why the Bible calls him the word in John 1 and 1. The Most High said a certain prophet would come with his word and that prophet would be an Israelite. Now we don't get too far into the controversy about color because no. these camps believe only blacks hispanics and native americans can receive salvation and that's not true all right so we don't get caught up in that and we speak against people who tell them lies because anybody can get salvation from the most high yes so when people ask us what color jesus was the first thing we ask them is what source do you believe in the source we believe in is the Bible. None of the modern day books are written by sources that were there when he was alive. The only testimony we have of him is from the Gospels, right? The New Testament. They say he was a dark skinned man in Revelations 1. And there's a vision of him in Daniel chapter 10. Both of them say he's a dark skinned man. We're not here to debate the issue. It's what the Bible say. Okay. You can like it. Don't like it. We ain't in no controversy about what them people look like over there in Israel. We don't care. We just here to teach what the Bible say. It has nothing to do with your salvation. It has nothing to do with your salvation. There was a guy. He's a real popular guy, man. This dude, he came with a doctrine, man. And like almost the whole world was following this man doctrine. And that man was named Mahatma Gandhi. He was an Indian dude. Do I feel any less because the guy that came with his doctrine was Indian? No. 
Right. Because him being Indian ain't got nothing to do with my salvation. But he was following the same uh, doctrine that Dr. Martin Luther King adopted. Just because Dr. Martin Luther King was black, does anybody feel like they've been cheated because he was black? That's the big problem with people is people start putting people in categories and then they miss out on what the purpose yep. of how you're supposed to conduct yourself. All right. So don't get caught up in what color he was. Now, his color has one bearing. I mean, he has no bearing on whether or not you receive salvation. You can be ultra dark skin, but if you don't have the doctrine, uh, you still can't receive salvation. Right. You can be as white as snow and still receive salvation. Right. The only thing it provides for you is what to look for in the prophet that brings the doctrine. So nine times out of 10, the person who bring the doctrine back going to kind of look like what Jesus looked like. So that's how you kind of like filter out who got the who what the person with the doctrine is going to look like cuz that's what the most high said he going to look like. All right? right. He going to look like what Jesus looked like. But once the person gets the doctrine, it don't matter what they look like. They can all teach the doctrine as long as they use his method. All so, right. And say so when we say spiritual we mean the hidden wisdom that the Bible speaks of in 1 Corinthians 2, 6 through 8. You, you, you got the share up? Hold on, let me get it on. And we'd like to thank all of the people who are uh, saying Good. shalom to us. We, we really appreciate y'all taking the time to uh, support us. We, we, we really, really love y'all, man. You know, it's a, it's a tough road to hold. It's a tough road to hold. You know, when you come out here and you start talking, because it's a whole lot of different doctrines out here, right? And when you come and you start telling what stuff really means, a lot of people become offended. Right. You know, and at the end of the day, there's no need to be offended. You still got the right to believe whatever you want. All right. But let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians 2. Uh, we're going to start at verse 6. You can see so you can see. Yeah, I can see it. Right. So you can see what we are teaching. It's a reason why we teach what we teach, because it's what the scriptures say we are supposed to be teaching. It's two and six, two and six. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. No, no, no. You're doing great. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> what we're doing. <laughs> Shalom, gun bunny. We really appreciate the police. Peace and blessings to you as well. If you could read that for me so the people can understand Christ had an actual doctrine, right? Yes. He had an actual doctrine that was different than the standard teachings of like the Pharisees and all of that. His doctrine was different. All right. That's why they didn't like him. That's right. why they don't like us. Right. All right. Because we don't have the same doctrine that you get in the Christian church whenever you go to a church on Sunday and all that other stuff. A lot of these Israelite camps, they don't like us because we don't have the same doctrine as them. But right. this is what we, this is what our doctrine is based off of. Read that right. from the other. First Corinthians two and six. Mm -hmm. How be it, we speak wisdom among mm -hmm. them that are perfect. Okay, he talking about the people who, who got understanding. Perfect mean they got proper understanding. Read. Yet not the wisdom of this world. The wisdom of this world is the literal carnal interpretation of the bible all right we have a different doctrine than that we know the words mean something else and we can prove it read nor of the princes of this world the princes of this world are the prophets okay well this the the, uh, the your preacher your pastor your imam or whoever it is right those are the pe the preachers of the world okay mm -hmm. meaning they teach carnally right read that come to not they're not going to be able to give you the salvation that's being promised of the god of heaven right which is in the bible that's that's where salvation comes even the people of of of, of the uh islamic faith they use the bible mm -hmm. along with the quran all right so that's just 
this is the standard. This is what God Almighty gave to the prophets to write. Okay, so this is the standard. But read on. Verse 7. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. There's a mystery to this Bible. All right. You got to know the method that you're supposed to use in order to get the understanding of what the words mean. The words mean something different from the most high than what the words that you are accustomed to speaking. You know, we speak English. So the words that we speak in English, they have different meanings than what they mean in the Bible. All right. Read. Even the hidden wisdom. It's a hidden wisdom, meaning that people don't understand this method that Christ left us. Read. Which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Okay, so he, he ordained this doctrine that we teach unto our glory. Glory means wisdom. All right. So we're, he says before the world, right? His doctrine is before the world. All right. It takes precedence over the world's understanding. That's what that's saying. So basically what, what the elder is saying is like you go to your dictionary, right? Mm -hmm. And you try to define these words. But the dictionary what Merriam-Webster and all these different uh, dictionaries are a different doctrine. Yes. Let me let me let me let me back you up real quick. Elder. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go to, all right. go to Isaiah 34, 16. Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16 mm -hmm. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord And read Okay why don't I read it for you And you can bring that on out I'll start right. over Isaiah 34 and 16 Seek ye out of the book of the Lord And read So he didn't say a dictionary He right. didn't say Wikipedia He didn't say uh, Britannica He didn't say all these different books, uh, National Geographic, all that stuff. He said, go into my Bible. Yes. The word I left you. I'm going to define it myself and read it. Mm -hmm. Read. No one of these shall fail. No one of these is talking about the witnesses in the Bible, the precepts in the Bible. None of them are going to fail. Right. Read. None shall want her mate. When you make something, you're fornicating. That's yes. what the fornication in the Bible is. When you take the word of God and you mix it with something else, you're mating it. You're yes. fornicating against God's word. You're not sticking to his word. Read. For my mouth, it has commanded. It's a commandment to do that, to stay in the confines of the Bible, not these different books to get understanding. It's not a strong concordance. Why? Because that's a different doctrine. That's somebody else's interpretation of it. Read. And his spirit. His has spirit. The spirit mm -hmm. is the spirit is, is his word, right? Right. The definition of the word spirit is doctrine. And mm -hmm. we'll get it for y'all in a minute. And his spirit hath gathered them. Gathered them. Let's get with the them when he's talking about right there. Mm -hmm. Real quick. This is how you're supposed to read your Bible. Yes. What he's doing is. He's using a method that Christ left us. Christ said you have to get two or three witnesses, meaning right. precepts, to substantiate what you are saying. Yes. That's why we get more than one. Y'all see that? Because right. you're going to understand what it's saying after we keep reemphasizing what it's actually saying. All right. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 19, verse 15. Mm -hmm. One witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity. So I cannot grab one scripture out the Bible and say that's what it means. Mm -hmm. That's against the law of God. You have to do this. Read. Or for any sin. A sin against the word is you're lying. Mm -hmm. Read. In any sin he sinneth. Mm -hmm. And the mouth of excuse me, at the mouth of two witnesses mm -hmm. or at the mouth of three witnesses uh -huh. shall the matter be established. Now, I know you guys are looking at when they say, can I get a witness? 
you're mm -hmm. asking, can I get a scripture? The witnesses yes. are the scriptures. All right. So when you witness it, you're reading it. So when you yes. read it twice, you may have one. Your friend may have one. And it may explain what this, the, the parable is saying. You may re have read it twice and mm -hmm. you can see, OK, this mean with this. This lines up with this. This is the understanding of the parable or the allegory. This is how mm -hmm. you establish it. Let me get one more and then I'll give it back to you, Elder. Was that 2 mm -hmm. Corinthians? 2 mm, Corinthians uh, 13 and 1. Yeah. 13 and 1, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. This is how you're supposed to read your Bible. You have to do it this way. If not, you're not worshiping the God of the Bible. You're worshiping you, whoever told you this is how you're supposed to do it. When you got God. Yes, sir. Read that. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1. This is the third time I am coming to you. So Paul at this time was, he done broke it down to the third time. He brought the third witness, right? Read. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. Every word of the Bible will be established. The words of the Bible, each word that you're looking at in this Bible has a different definition than what you were carnally told. The world told you one thing, but God said he has another definition for it. Back yes. to you, Elder. And the word established means prove. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can only prove what something means if you have two or three witnesses to support it. That's right. how you're supposed to read the Bible. And I know it sounds, you know, rudimentary and elementary and all that other mm -hmm. stuff. But the, the uh, Christ said his 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 yoke is easy and his mm -hmm. burden is light. That means if you got some complicated rituals that you learn in, in order to get salvation, you probably following the wrong thing because it's real easy to get salvation if you do what he say he right. summed it up with two two commandments love god and love your neighbor that's it you learn how to uh, love your neighbor when i say love i ain't mean go give him a hug and a kiss that ain't what we talking about <laughs> all right when we talking about love meaning don't attack your neighbor don't disrespect your neighbor all right, you're gonna have people who you get you, you, you get along with, and then it's gonna be people you just can't you can't have no conversation with. But you just right. take that old adage if I ain't got nothing good to say, I'm just gonna be quiet, right? right? I can't deal with that person over there because you know he might he might make me get out of my regular Jesus, <laughs> all right? <laughs> so, I'm gonna Thank go you. ahead and cut him off, right? right. Oh, my so, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> But we go go uh next to uh Matthew uh 13 and 10. All right. What I, what we what we're showing you is there's a different requirement for the law that Christ left us than the stuff that you're accustomed to. That's all we're showing you. We're showing you in the Bible where they actually said it, where he actually said it. All right. So you'll know we're not making this up. All right. Read that for me, Elder. Matthew chapter 13, verse 10. Mm -hmm. And the disciples came and mm -hmm. said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Parables. The Bible is written a certain way. Let me turn this thing down a little bit. I might be feedback in here. Yeah, the bit. Bible is written a certain way, right? Mm -hmm. It's written to where if you don't know how to read it right you're gonna get confused right the most high said a certain person was gonna come with his word right everybody's got this controversy about who the israelites is right the israelite is the prophet that got the doctrine of god the spiritual doctrine because god is a spirit you must worship him in spirit and in truth that's in uh what's that john 4 21 through 24 something like that but nonetheless mm -hmm. he gonna come with a spiritual doctrine he gonna be explaining it differently all right christ he spoke in parables all right he spoke in parables where if you don't understand how to read it you won't get the proper understanding that's why it was certain prophets that was bringing forth the word right and it was other prophets who was speaking off the top of their head what they thought it meant 
but it was certain of them had power. Power mean doctrine. All right. Well, no, well, nobody sitting up in that land of the hands and all of that. That's something that they that's something that they use to keep that keep that uh keep that the collection plate going. Right. right. Ain't nobody got no power. Right. right. There's Not no Holy Ghost. Right. right. Everybody running around, mama say, mama saw, mama saw. You know what I'm no. saying? Well, no MC Hammer dances <laughs> going on back in the day. All right. <laughs> Nonetheless, go to the, go to the next uh verse so you can see what he said after he told you about how his doctrine is. Right. Read that elder. And he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven are the spiritual interpretation or translation of the Bible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Up to this point, most of you have only heard the carnal translation because that's what they teach at church. All I'll right. So you on TV. Yes. Read on. But to them, it is not given. He's telling you, the people who teaching his doctrine don't understand it. Because the first way you know the person who uh, brought forth uh, the word is not righteous is if that man say, give me some money. Mm -hmm. The very second that that person say, uh, I'm going to need to collect this money up because it's a commandment that right. the word be free. Yep. All right. A commandment. <laughs> Let's prove okay. that. Let's prove that. Let's prove that. Let's go. Let's prove it. You so should not be paying for the word. If the, no... if the preacher didn't write the book, how he get a cut? Right. Mm. 10% of that stuff. Cut? You know what I'm saying? Ain't that copyright infringement? Something. He's stepping on some toes up in he's stepping on some toes now. Well, I mean, right. you know, it's hard to step on toes, but you know, sometimes you got to go with God. This is how right. this is this is what frees you. <laughs> right. First Corinthians 2 and 12. Mm -hmm. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but we don't have the doctrine of this world, what you see around you. That's why you're paying money. for that, you're paying that money in that collection plate. Really? Yes. But the spirit which is of God. Okay, where is the spirit of God going to supply me? That we might know the things that are freely given. No, give me that tithe. Uh, no, no, wait on, brother. On, brother. <laughs> give me that 10%. On, <laughs> on. Let me read that again. <laughs> that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God freely given freely given freely received yes right? yes so you can't be sitting out here with the next and, verse verse 13 which things also we speak that's why we're here on this panel right now and thank wizard for allowing us to speak these words all Read. praise to the most high yep not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth because we're here today to show you that there was no man that walked on water because you've never seen that. You never seen a man stuck a stick in the ground to split the water. You never, never. seen a man live in a, a whale's belly for three days. It can't happen. No. You know what I'm saying? That didn't, that didn't happen. That's why we're showing you that's man's wisdom. So somebody yeah. read that and was like, you know what? I'm going to make a movie about yes. somebody. That's all it was. That's man, a man's wisdom. He didn't yeah. go to the scriptures and get two or three to understand what the water is what the mm. what a well is what yes. walking on water actually means he didn't do that he right. just saw it in his carnal mind and created the doctrine of it mm. read but which the holy ghost teaches so now shows you the holy ghost teaches you something it doesn't have you shaking and running around the church that's right the holy ghost is a doctrine yes it's the word mm. of god ghost and spirit mean the same thing y'all yes we're gonna show y'all what spirit mean here in a second uh comparing spiritual things with spiritual so now we're getting at two or three precepts that's how mm -hmm. you compare the spiritual things with the spiritual you mm -hmm. got to go like we showed you earlier and collect 
the precepts. You got to get two or three of them, get three, two or three witnesses mm -hmm. to make sure it's spiritual. Make sure you're not going into the carnal. It can happen. It happens all the time. You have to snap out of it sometimes because you've been born and that's what you've been taught. Mm -hmm. So it's sometimes when you start until you get the exercise down, it takes a minute to, to kill off that old man of, of that, that, that natural man, should I say? Yeah. When you learned of the world. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Let me get one more. Okay. About Give free. them two so that you know. You got to prove, establish yes. that the world is supposed to be free. All right. We're going to go over the Psalms 54 and 6. Mm -hmm. See, this is, this is, this is something that's been going on for a while. And I get it. You know, people say, I got to pay, I got to pay. Uh, my my bills and all that other stuff. I get all that. You know, I got to pay mine too. That's why I got a job. <laughs> all right. <laughs> right. So that them folks get their money, you know. Right. But that ain't got nothing to do with the most high. The most high, mm -hmm. the most high snatched them prophets up and said, hey, look, if you're going to walk before me, you get your you get your reward at the oh, end. You know right? what? I, 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 instead of that one, I got a better one. Okay. I, I wouldn't go to Acts. Yeah. Because th everybody would know this one. Acts 8. Yeah. Yes, because that's the that's the that's the thing. People think, you know, and, 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 you know, at the end of the day, everybody got to do what they do. We ain't trying to tell no preacher what he better do and all that. All we telling you is what the scriptures say. You got to figure it out for yourself. But mm -hmm. the most high going to hold them, 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 them prophets to a higher standard than the regular dude. Because yep. he's saying you should have known better. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Acts chapter 8, verse 18. And when Simon saw that through laying on of the apostles' hands, the Holy Ghost was given. So now you just got the precept before. You just witnessed it before that the Spirit, the Holy Ghost teaches you something. So the Holy Ghost is the word was mm -hmm. given. So now, what did the guy do? He offered them money. So he tried to give the... So he tried to give the uh, apostles, apostles money. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. Verse 19. Saying, give me also this power. So he wanted the doctrine for himself. This is why he also wanted the power. The power is the word. Read. That on whomsoever I lay hands. So when he said whomsoever I lay hands, it's like who he's teaching. Who is he reaching? You reach with your hands. So whoever he reaches mm -hmm. when he teaches, that's who he's talking about. He may receive the Holy Ghost. So he will also get the understanding. But he tried to buy the doctrine. What did Peter say? Verse 20. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee. What? Thy money perish with thee. I know you guys know I've read in the Bible that uh, the root of all evil is what? Money. Love of money, right? <laughs> mm. You're right. So now he's yep. telling you why. Because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Will be purchased with money. See? You're not supposed to be paying these people to learn the word of God. We do this for absolutely free because we do it because we love God. And we That's love our right. people. We know all of you out here. God, God said yeah. he's going to punish them prophets. Yeah, them, them guys don't understand because most of the people don't believe in God because they can't see God because the way you see him is to understand what the words mean. So guys just going through the motion asking these people for this money, for the word. People thinking that they got to pay in order to get the kingdom. You ain't got to pay one red cent to get the kingdom. Nope. The prophet job is to tell you what them words mean. After he done with that, he's done his part. Now it's incumbent upon you to take what you learned from that prophet. And you got to establish your own salvation, your relationship with God. Was it Philippians 2.12? Yep. You got to set up your own salvation. The prophet can't get you into heaven. You can't, you can't, can't no man get another man into the kingdom. It's nope. just, it's just not possible. You don't have that level of power. Only <laughs> God's giving salvation. Right. All right. Work it out yourself. Yes. So Where you going, Ella? let's go back to uh, Mark 4 because we want to make sure that you understand. There are two translations of the Bible. 
the carnal oh. translation, which most of you have learned, which is called the uh, law of Moses. Mm -hmm. The spiritual translation is understanding the parable. That's right. Christ's translation. Y'all got that? Turn your mic down a little bit. Yeah, man, I keep saying that. Yeah, yeah. Things are rather sensitive. There. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to make sure that people can hear me without, you know. Right, right. Enough some eardrops. Read that for me, Elder. Mark 4 13. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? Parable. See that? A parable is a a way of saying something, right? You say something that people can't see the underlying meaning of it, right? It's like a riddle, an right. allegory, all right? God has it's, his own it's, slang. It's a metaphor. Mm -hmm. See what's going on? That's how the Most High talks. That's why he need the prophet to come and explain it to the people what it means, all right? Mm -hmm. Read on. And how then will you know all parables? Hold on. I, I needed you to go uh, to Mark 4 and 2. Because to let you know he had. And, and this is cool. This is cool because it's letting you know he's using parables. He's not using mm -hmm. like the, the preacher get up and then he read a scripture. And he tell you what that, that scripture mean. He give you expound upon that scripture to make you understand right. what he's saying. Okay. That's not how Christ taught. He no. taught to teach them people what those words mean spiritually. But read that right quick. Mark 4 and 2. And he taught them many things by parables. He understood what the Bible meant, the metaphors of the Bible. That's what he's talking about. Read. And said unto them, in his doctrine. Mm -hmm. His doctrine. He's got a separate doctrine. Okay, but we, that's, that's all I needed. That's all I needed to okay. let you know. Okay, okay. He's got a separate doctrine. Not the same doctrine as Moses. All right. Right. So now he has a different doctrine from Moses. And we recognize that people will disagree with us. You know, that's OK. We're not here to argue uh, about people that believe you should follow the example of a man who has secret powers, supernatural, <laughs> that you don't have. Right. And he expects you to use those powers that he promised you you would have and you don't have them. That means the guy that you follow lied. That's what that means. Because if he said you're going to have powers like him and you ain't got them, then the person you believe in is lying. Right. If he said you can walk on water like him and you can't walk on water, that means that's a lie. Or maybe it meant something else. Right. Else. That's what we call Superman Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just to say you already didn't answer. I mean, I'm following along with the scripture and everything, but mm -hmm. you've answered one of the questions. Someone keep trying to call me. I can't see my question. Oh, about Jesus walking on water, which. Oh, we're we going to get real in depth in that. Yeah, we're going to look at the scripture. We're gonna make, we, we just saying something. But remember, it said you got to establish the map. Yep, that means right. you all things. Food. Yep. Okay. Because we could be, we could be, we could be lying. <laughs> right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Even <laughs> so though I'm a lying. handsome devil, you know, <laughs> I might lie to you. So we got to prove it. We got to prove it. <laughs> right. Right. That Go mean, ahead. Prove <laughs> okay. Now the difference with us that we uh is that we use the method that Christ left us. All right. And we must prove everything. That prove all thing is in First Thessalonians five and twenty one. The prophet must use two or three precepts as we read before. All right. To explain what the most high say the word means. All right. You can get that in Matthew 18, 15 through 20. We went to second Corinthians 13 and one. It's also in Deuteronomy uh, 17. Was it six through 12? Something like that. That is his translation of the words. All right. The two or three is his translation. If you don't use this method, to explain the Bible, you are not following the doctrine of Christ. You are following the literal translation, which is the doctrine of Moses or uh, or the carnal translation. Or you're using uh, supernatural Jewish fables. All right. Mm -hmm. 
So now let's get to the part that we want to hear. Here's the first question. Did Jesus walk on water? Now, Jesus did not walk on water. That's In the carnal story. sense. Carnal sense. Correct. <laughs> he didn't physically walk on some water. Yeah, right. Okay. No man has ever walked on water. All right. I seen try though. Yeah. They've <laughs> all failed. All right. Okay. That story is one of the parables we mentioned earlier. All right. If you know what the words mean spiritually, which we're going to show you, you will be able to understand what is being stated. So let's break down some of the words. Then we're going to read the parable to get the proper understanding. Mm -hmm. First, we're going to give you the understanding of what the word water means. Okay. Where you want to go? We're going to go to Ephesians 5 and 26 first. Okay. We have to do it this way, but once you see how we do this, when we start reading what that thing say, you're going to sit there and all the light bulbs going to start coming on. Mm -hmm. You're going to see it clearly, right? Read that, Elder. Ephesians 5, 26, that he may sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Can y'all just see that he said the definition of water is the word? Can y'all see that? All right. Let's That's go to uh, uh, John 15 and 3. So we can get the understanding what the Most High says the word water means whenever you see it in the Bible. Now Christ said he come in the volume of the book. That means anywhere in this Bible or Apocrypha that you go and you start reading, it's going to be consistent. That's the most high's way of thinking and how he writes. Okay. So you this is you can use this throughout the entire Bible and it's going to explain what it means. All right. All right. Read that. John 15 and 3. Mm -hmm. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? What cleans you? Water. Right? And he's telling you water is the word right go if you can go to some rock uh 15 and 3. Gotcha. so you can see you now now that's two right that's you've seen it consistently used that he's using the word um water to describe word or doctrine all right right, right. so when you see something talking about a lake a sea a river mm -hmm. All of that stuff is talking about doctrines. The word is doctrines, okay? So when you see water, walking on water and stuff, water is a doctrine, all right? Read that for me, Elder. Sirach 15, verse 3. With mm -hmm. the bread of understanding bread, shall she you feed him. When you see bread or any type of food see how he said bread of understanding he letting you know when you see the word bread and that he's talking about wisdom y'all mm -hmm. see that when he uses food he's talking about wisdom Yep. y'all see that read on and gave him the water of wisdom to drink he just called water wisdom y'all see that so when you see any type of water, do, do is water, right? Mm -hmm. All of that stuff is telling you when you see those words, those similar words, it's talking about doctrine. All right. Y'all see that? All right. So let's see whether or not we can let's figure out more. what. Let's get one more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. Second address. Believe it or not, I had this written down. <laughs> he tried to skip over it. <laughs> yeah, so we can do it. Yeah. You good, though? For in them is the spring of understanding. We start talking about spring, springing water, okay? A spring, okay? Talking about spring of understanding, right? Read. The, fount the fountain of wisdom. It's a, he's calling water wisdom. See that? Read. And the stream of knowledge. 
See that? He's giving you three examples of where he's using water and he's attaching it to wisdom. Y'all see that? Make it easier for you guys at home, right? When you got the, the days are at the end, right? So what you have to do is type the word into your Bible app. Yes. Start scrolling through and you're going to soon find the explanation that you, you just got to go through it. That's I don't want to go too deep, but that's doing the work of the sixth day. Six days right. thou shalt work. That's what you're doing when you're going through and you're searching out what each and every word means. So mm -hmm. you have to go through and put water in your Bible uh, app. Search through all the scriptures till you go. It, it, he'll start to define them. Then variations of water. You start mm -hmm. to understand what he's talking about. Right. So that's, that's how, how you, you do study. it. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So now we're pretty clear on the water, the word water. All right. right. By now you should be pretty clear on it right so we're gonna go to wind next all right because this is also in the, in the, in the story about him walking on that water mm -hmm. we're going to ephesians 4 and 14 you're gonna figure out what wind means trust me just bear with us because yep. whenever you get to us actually reading the story you're gonna see it yep you're absolutely gonna see it Ephesians 4 and 14 mm -hmm. that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro with different doctrines okay read and carried about with every wind of doctrine y'all see how he just called wind a doctrine go to Job uh, 6 and 24 uh, excuse me go to Job 6 24 we gotta consistently show you he said use two or three I got several on here, but <laughs> right. you, you, you got to be convinced because if you don't know the connection with the words, you're going to think he actually is talking about the wind blowing whenever you walk outside. Job 6 and 24. Mm -hmm. 25. We're going to 26. Mm -hmm. Okay. Job 6, 24. Mm -hmm. Teach me and I will hold my tongue. Mm-hmm. And cause me to understand wherein I ha I have erred. So now he's talking about the the, the 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 subject matter is the tongue. So when he started talking about the mouth, the tongue, you know, the teeth, and all, he's talking about teaching. Y'all mm -hmm. see that? That makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Next verse. Verse twenty-five. How for how forcible are right words? He's talking about words. All right. Read. But what but what doth your arguing reprove mm -hmm. so he's still talking about teaching all right do ye ima do you imagine to reprove words mm -hmm. and the speeches of one that is desperate mm -hmm. which are as wind see how you just called them words wind see that when you hear him talking about wind he's talking about doctrines that makes sense okay go to I got, I got i got one more for you Did all you right. see it i got one more go ahead yes this is this i know this is tedious but this is how you read it if you, <laughs> you don't do it like this you will not get the understanding you'll be out there talking about and moses took that stick <laughs> and he stood on the side of that seat and when he stuck that seat inside of that side of that coast the next thing you know the wind of the lord just split that sea in half i mean all the way down to the sand and all of that and you sitting up in there like preach on and you caught mm -hmm. up in some man food. right <laughs> we're doing this to save you from those thieves right. okay because they steal in people's salvation because if you follow the men and don't follow god you ain't gonna get no salvation that's just a fact all right you own the only person you can trust is you right. you can't even trust elder stephan and elder Johanna. nope the only person you can trust is you once you know what them words mean you don't need elder stephan you don't need elder Johanna. Nope. you need to keep studying what them words mean going in your bible app and finding out what they mean on your own then you ain't gonna get tricked by nobody that's why he say trust no man people don't right. know what that means trust yourself 
because he gonna hold you accountable all right before you read the next one and all let me just sit out a thank you to all my viewers that's watching we appreciate appreciate the comments coming in and we see them and uh, they will probably get a chance to entertain them but other than that we appreciate you guys watching and staying with us go ahead sir. praising the most high john three and eight mm -hmm. the wind bloweth where it listeth okay so now it's talking about this wind all right mm -hmm. now y'all know what it means now so now y'all know what this scripture mean right mm -hmm. so see. Mm -hmm. and thou hearest the sound thereof y'all hear the sound of the preaching the doctrines right that's what it's talking about three but canst not tell whence it cometh you don't know what it means <laughs> y'all see mm -hmm. that and whether it goeth you don't know how to teach it y'all see that so is everyone that is born of the spirit so whenever you learn how to use the two or three then you become born of the spirit mm -hmm. y'all see that to get born means you convert from your carnal way of thinking listening to that preacher and you convert to using two or three witnesses to establish what the words mean that makes sense to y'all all praises to the most high all praises. now there's another uh word oh, that y'all need so rice rice uh so jesus walked on the word okay you, you kind of getting it i see yeah. i'm looking at his yeah, comment. he real close i saw it close, <laughs> he very close yeah you he know it. you he get know it. You he get just it. head of the class You're right, right. <laughs> just down with us. we know you got it <laughs> right so, on game all Can't right we're gonna get what the walk is then you're gonna once you see the walk yes, then you're gonna understand yes. it. let's find out what this ship is because there's a ship in this store okay all right so when you see words like ship, boat, wasn't, wasn't Noah in an ark? Mm -hmm. Y'all see yep. that? So yep. all of that stuff is similar words, right? The similar words mean something. Because it could have been the things had boat all the way through the thing. So whoever translated it from Hebrew or Aramaic to English, they use different words. They might have used ark here. They might have used ship here. They might have used boat here. Y'all see what's going on? They're similar words, right? But they have the same meaning. So y'all getting ready to figure out what the Ark of the Covenant is. Mm -hmm. If y'all know what ship means. Y'all see that? It ain't talking about a piece of furniture. It ain't a buffet know, table. Right. If you already know the water is the word, you kind of getting... <laughs> where the ship is yes <laughs> who's, who's darling darling on darling on point right there <laughs> you got people showing off over here these <laughs> but uh take me to uh ecclesiastes 32 excuse me 33 and 2 ecclesiastes. you mean that's Sirach? Sirach, excuse me okay got you got you mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm only working with one screen here. Yeah, no, no, you're doing great. You're doing Please great, man. Me, people. I wish I could pay you, but God said, don't give you a dime. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, 32 and what? <laughs> Maybe I'll do a d good deed for you. You're and right. two. <laughs> 33 and two. 33 and two. 33 and two, yes. Right. <laughs> yes. Okay, come on. KJ. There you go. All right. <clears throat> Sirach, well, Ecclesiasticus 33 and 2. Mm -hmm. A wise man hateth not the law. Okay, so a wise man, he respects God's law. Right? Read. But he that is an hypocrite therein is as a ship in a storm. He is as a ship. That's a y'all see that? He's comparing that man to a ship. Y'all see that? The man is a prophet. Y'all see that? Y'all got that? As a ship. All right. Just like he compared the the wind to the word, he's comparing a man or a prophet. To a ship. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. All right, go to uh, 2 Ezra 12 and 42. 
Because a ship is a man with a doctrine. Yep. That's what a ship is. A ship is a man with a doctrine. Noah was a man with a doctrine. Right. God called him mm. an ark. Yes. He ain't talking about no boat, y'all. Mm. All right. Second, wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Second Ezra 12 42. Mm -hmm. For of all the prophets, thou only art left us mm -hmm. as a mm -hmm. right as a cluster of the vintage. Mm -hmm. That's great. And as a as a candle in a dark place. So he's the light. He got the light. Light means right. wisdom. All right. Dark means ignorance. Mm -hmm. And as a haven or ship preserved from the tempest y'all see how he just called ezra ezra is ezra all right? right he just called ezra a ship y'all see that mm -hmm. that might be real important whenever you start talking about jesus walking on this water mm -hmm. all right <laughs> y'all see what's going on all right all right here. you got another one i got one okay go i, got, I, well, I, I was gonna go to get, go get a witness Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Go right ahead. Hey, let me get it. Can I get a witness? Absolutely. <laughs> Put a whole new meaning to that word now. I know that's right. Most well, definitely. <laughs> we all clear now. <laughs> all right. Psalm 107 to 23. Okay. Oh, actually, let's start at 21. All right. I'll read it for you. Okay. Psalms 107, verse 21. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. So now we know the context here is men that praise the Lord. So they teach the Lord's goodness. They're teaching the mm -hmm. Lord's spiritual doctrine. Mm -hmm. And let them sacrifice and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of wisdom that's thanksgiving is wisdom yes Read. excuse me of thanksgiving i'm sorry same thing <laughs> and the, we're not and, talking about we're not talking about uh middle uh, the last week of uh the third week of november no that's not we're what talking, we're talking about, about you freely giving up your your sacrifice you're killing the old yeah. person inside you that old yes. thought that you have inside you yes and declare his works with rejoicing to rejoice means you're teaching his word all right mm-hmm mm -hmm. They that go down to the sea in ships. And what? Ships. So how is a man teaching the word has anything to do with ships? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that okay. do that do business in great water. So we those at home, what is the water? We just showed you that water is the wisdom. They do yeah. business in great water and great wisdom talking about a prophet y'all see that mm -hmm. he do he do his work in water all right y'all see that mm -hmm. a prophet hold on so now we go back to this with verse. A doctor. yeah so what type of person does business in water what would you say today Wizzo? Who, who who does business on water in the world today what, what is professional occupation become? yeah what what did Elvis, Elvis Stevens say? What did he say? What's his occupation? What yeah, somebody. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was just gonna say a, a fisherman out there. Wow. There we go. So let's get wow. that. Wow. Wow. You're actually paying attention as well, my friend. You're a very <laughs> smart person. <laughs> Watch it, Governor. All right, we'll go. We'll, I'll go back to seventeen. I'll go back to seventeen. So you guys see, see, see whole, that's what you remember. I said when Christ wrote, he said my yoke is easy and my burden is light it's simple to figure out what it's saying y'all see mm -hmm. that it's real mm -hmm. simple if somebody getting over there telling you all these different catch and kills them and go in there and say 45 hail marys and all that other stuff that stuff ain't worth nothing okay it's easy to figure out what it's saying mm -hmm. just like you just demonstrated a fisherman right Matthew chapter 4 verse 17 from that time Jesus began to preach 
So and somebody's teaching. Mm -hmm. Jesus is preaching. So it means he's teaching. Read. And to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Mm -hmm. And mean doctrine. He mean, I got, I got, the, I got the doctrine to the kingdom of heaven. That's what he's saying. All right. Right. And Jesus walking by the sea was the sea. Water. Mm -hmm. That's many doctrines. The sea is a mm -hmm. lot of doctrines. By the Sea of Galilee. Of the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Saw two brethren. Mm -hmm. Simon, called Peter, and Andrew, his brother. Mm -hmm. Casting a net into the sea. So a net catches fish. We're going to get into what the fish is because we got to go into Jonah. Got to go. But a net <laughs> catches fish. Yes. Right? So well, you catch something. So the net is just their doctrine. They're catching you, the fish, in the word. So you're reading the word, and my net is to, to catch you. Read. For they were fishers. Mm-hmm. What did Christ say? What did Jesus say? And he said unto them, follow me, mm -hmm. and I will make you fishers of men those are the ones that do the business in great waters okay back to you see others. that now you see he talking about prophets he about to train them as prophets they mm -hmm. was catching fish with their old doctrine he about to give them a new doctrine y'all mm -hmm. see that all right so now uh you should understand now what ship means um, excuse me you should understand yes you should understand what a ship is a ship is a prophet all right now uh let's see about feet because you walk with feet right right so let's see what these feet talking about give me a uh please ask the five yes sir one and two you got to know what these words mean i know it's tedious it's taking mm -hmm. a little time you know, the pastor get up in there. He start, he start, he turn into the slogan master. He giving you all them nice little rhymes. He telling you what happened whenever he was a little boy and all that other stuff and how the Lord went and snatched him up and all this other kind of stuff. And you just enthralled mm -hmm. and all that. Well, the most high don't get down like that. He said, no. look, you got to do the work. Go over here and learn what I'm saying. I ain't got time to play with you. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. Mm -hmm. Keep thy foot mm -hmm. when thou goest to the house of God. Now, he talking about a foot. The foot is actually something. He telling you to shut up with that mm -hmm. stuff that you teach him. Right? Now watch and see how he explains it. Read. And be more ready to hear. Hear with your ears. Don't talk with your foot. Your doctrine. Be ready to hear. Read. Than to give the sacrifice of fools. You come up in there spewing out that foolishness. That's what he's telling you. Be careful. Coming up in here with these crazy doctors. For I have to correct you. Read. Hmm. For they consider not that they do evil. You don't know that whenever you're getting out there teaching all of them lies, you're the antichrist because mm -hmm. you're not using his doctrine. That's what that means. People don't know that. It's a big punishment for teaching a lie. That's blaspheming the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is God's law. Y'all see how this thing fit together now? All of them dots starting to come together. That's why all of them pastors up in that line taking that money. Oh, they're going to get what they got coming. Hmm. We ain't going to judge them. The most high going to judge them. All right. We ain't telling nobody what to do. Right. All right. We just telling you what it means. Go to verse two. Elder. Yes, sir. <laughs> verse two. Be mm -hmm. not rash with thy mouth. So now he's telling you that foot is your mouth, your doctrine. See that? And, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God. Your heart is your mind, all right? Don't think up some stupid doctrine and utter it in the most high here you teaching somebody a lie. Mm -hmm. So you know what people kill me? 
they'll say God know my heart. <laughs> yeah. So he, what you're saying is God knows your mind. Yes. See, you can say it like that, but when somebody tells you that it's the heart, you're like, uh, no, no, no. It's the same thing. God say God knows your heart. You know what Matthew he's talking about. Matthew 15, 15, 19. Matthew right. 15, 19. Mm -hmm. Yes. Read. And let, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God. Right. Be careful what you say. Right. For God is in heaven. Heaven means spiritual. Right. And thou upon earth. You carnal. You you believe literally what the Bible is saying. He's saying you stupid. Right. Mm. Read. Therefore, let thy words be few. He says, shut up. <laughs> Learn what I'm saying. I, like he said, if I want your opinion, I'll give it to you. <laughs> 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 Let's find another one. <laughs> I got one. I got one for you. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go to Job 31 and Wait, 5. Job? All right. Yeah. So Oh, you okay? I had one. I can go after. We go after. We go after. We go after. Thirty-one to five. Joe, thirty-one and five. Mm -hmm. If I have walked with vanity, and he talking about walked, he talking about teaching. That's the verb. Foot is the noun. The doctrine. The verb is the action of the now. That's the preaching. Y'all see how that fit together? Mm -hmm. If I have preached with vanity, vanity is carnal. Yep. All right. Those no men words. who stand up in there in those pulpits are hmm. vain. They're teaching right. lies. All right? right. Vanity is lies. All right. Mm -hmm. Read. Or if my foot hath hasted to deceit. See that? He's talking about deceit. So he's talking about his foot. His doctrine is deceiving people. Y'all see that? Next verse. <clears throat> Let me be weighed in even balance. Mm -hmm. So he's saying when you weigh something, weigh means to consider. All right. Consider what the meaning is. You got a carnal consideration and you got a spiritual consideration, right? You want to lean on the spiritual consideration. So you want to check yourself to make sure the stuff that you teaching is coming out spiritual like God said it should. Right. So like Using right now, two or three. you're weighing what the foot is. Mm -hmm. You're right now weighing what the word foot means. Yes. So you know carnally foot is on your body. Mm -hmm. You can't really know what the definition of what a foot is, but mm -hmm. now your first time you're seeing it, what it says in the Bible. So you're weighing it in your mind. You mm -hmm. weigh these things in your mind. The balance. Yes. yes. Read on. That, that God may know my integrity. He want to make sure you want to check that thing with two or three precepts like we're doing to make sure that what you're teaching has integrity. Meaning that it's righteous. That makes sense. What you had, Elder? I'm gonna go to this next one. Then I'll go to the one because it, it kind of explains something. Okay. If my step have turned out of the way, way is a doctrine. All right. When somebody sit there and say, uh, "Yeah, he's stuck in his ways," mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that man, he his doctrine, he gonna do what he always been doing. He ain't changing. A way is somebody's doctrine. That's how the most high see. It. It ain't talking about the direction to, to Cincinnati. He ain't talking about that. <laughs> all right. A way is a doctrine. All right. right? So, uh, but read on. And my heart walked. Mine preached. After mine eyes. Your heart can't you walk. A heart cannot <laughs> walk. It cannot. Y'all see that? Walk mean preach. We talking about feet. Mm -hmm. And if any blah have cleaved unto mine hands if any okay so whenever you see a blot right that's a stain right that's something a stain defiles something if you got a pressed white shirt and you about to go out here real crispy and then you go over there and get that old hot dog and that blob of, of ketchup get on that thing <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> you probably gonna look real defiled <laughs> right yeah I got that I <laughs> <laughs> right, but where, where you going to, uh, Elder? Where you going to next? Let me finish it up. All okay. Right, uh, let me go. Uh, Psalms. 
119-105. Okay. This, I promise you, y'all, and I know it's taking a It's going to make it all. It's gonna, I know. But, but once we read it, you're going to see it. <laughs> when They're y'all see start reading that parable, y'all going to be sitting up there like, bling. Oh, my. Right. I see that. I read it for you. Psalms 119, 105. None. Thy word is a lamp unto thy feet. Unto my feet. Excuse me, that you walk on feet. your doctrine. Mm-hmm. So it lightens your doctrine. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And a light unto my path. You walk on a path. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hope That's you guys see that. Path and yep. way yep. mean the same thing. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Way mean dot, right? Y'all see that? Where you going, boss? All right. <clears throat> Now, uh, we said it, but I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you, cause it was one in the uh in the last deal. Uh, let's give you what walk means. All right, it's the verb of the noun. The foot is the doctrine. Walking is teaching the doctrine. All right, let's go to Job. Uh, uh excuse me. Let's go to John. 8 and 12. And we just said it. We use walk in the uh in that that uh that uh precept from Job. All right. John chapter 8, verse 12. Mm-hmm. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, mm-hmm. I am the light of the world. Now y'all see that light and that lamp and all that other stuff, meaning he he got the wisdom. He's the wisdom. His doctrine is the way to go. The two or three, like we're doing, is the light, the understanding that y'all getting in y'all carnal understanding. Y'all see that? He that followeth me shall not... Go ahead. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. He not gonna be stupid. Y'all see that? If light is intelligence and wisdom, darkness is ignorance. That makes sense. They're opposites. So if you walk in darkness, that means you teaching a a, a defiled doctrine. All right. Understand, this book is written to the prophets, telling them how the most high telling you how I want you to teach these people. All right. Everybody is a prophet. Yes. All right. Everyone is a prophet. Mm-hmm. Read. Because you teach somebody something. Yes. Right. But shall have the light of life. Okay. So you, if you follow in Christ, you're going to have the light of life, the understanding of life. He says he's the way, the truth, and the life. His doctrine is the light. That's how you get salvation. Converting to his doctrine. That makes sense? Mm-hmm. All right. So now, uh, let, let's go to Romans 8, 1 and 2. All right. So we'll give you, you already got one from the last one, but we'll just give you, make it a, make it a clean three. <laughs> <laughs> we talking about walking. Right. Walking means preaching. Yes. Romans 8 and 1. Mm-hmm. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. The ones that follow in Christ's doctrine. All right. Read. Who walk not after the flesh. They don't teach the carnal literal translation. Read. But after the spirit. They teach the spiritual translation next verse for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death I started following Christ and I'm free from the carnal ignorant understanding that I learned from the kind of preacher that taught me. Mm-hmm. That's what he's saying. Just think how free you are. You ain't got to pay tithes yes. no more. 
I you know said that's right. I know that's right. <laughs> well, y'all You're better get that. on game. <laughs> you free from that. Now, y'all. You know what you can do, photo Elder. You know what you do? You ask your pastor, give me two precepts of what a tithe is. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's what you do. Because if you're gonna say what's fruit and all that stuff, give me two precepts on what the fruit is. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. You got it. You got to right. ask them these because there's different. Yeah. There's different meanings. Yes. But before you do that, make sure you look it up first. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> you got the right to ask questions about your salvation. Right. Right. The guy you following might not know what it means. Right. right. But now let's go to John six yes, sir. and sixteen. We're going to read this thing. And you probably go, you might not know everything. Right. But you're going to be able to figure out a whole lot about what that thing's saying. Mm -hmm. John 6 and 16. Mm -hmm. And and when evening even was now come. Okay, evening and darkness mean the same thing. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? Start getting dark in the evening. So now it's talking about darkness is ignorance. Remember, mm -hmm. we said darkness was ignorance. All right. So the people ain't got no understanding. It's tell it's a parable. Okay. Mm -hmm. When even was come, when the people needed some understanding, read. his disciples went down unto the sea. So now they went down. They didn't left they, the understanding that they had, and now they're going down to learn something new. So the sea is wisdom is doctrines in the sea right so they're getting ready to learn a new lesson that makes sense right okay read and entered into a ship what's a ship <laughs> a ship Robert. is a man Robert. with a doctrine y'all mm -hmm. see that so somebody getting ready to start teaching that makes sense. Now we we sitting here, we deciphering this thing with them two or three, cause y'all know what it means now. Mm -hmm. All right, read. And went over the mm -hmm. sea toward Capernaum. Okay, so one thing we did not discuss was what names mean. When the Most High uses a name, he's talking about a specific doctrine. When you see a name, it's talking about a doctrine. All right. So Revelation, let me get that. Revelation get it. 19 and 13. Yeah. So we get it. So people, we got to prove it. Prove all things. Mm -hmm. We'll come right back. Mm -hmm. Revelation 19, 13. Mm -hmm. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Mm -hmm. And his name is the word of god when you see name names are words doctrines y'all see that drop down to 16. you see how that if you know what these words mean you can whittle it out all right read and he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written mm -hmm. king of kings and lord of lords doctrine of doctrine yep king and priest means the same thing yep. priest, priest of priests and doctrine of doctrine, of doctrine. Yep. man with a doctrine he the top doctrine that makes mm -hmm. sense go to joel 2 and 32. It's important that y'all get this because y'all going to be able to see it. You going to be able to see it. It's going to open up. Your brain just going to open up. Read that, Elder. Joel 2 and 32. And it mm -hmm. shall come to pass mm -hmm. that whosoever shall call mm -hmm. on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. If you understand and preach the doctrine of the Lord. Who the Lord? Is that a capital L? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means if you got Christ's doctrine. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. If two you got Christ's doctrine of two or three, you're going to be delivered. You're going to get salvation. Read. 
for in Mount Zion, Zion and- is the name of the spiritual um, nation. When you see Zion, it's the people who follow Christ's doctrine. All right. Read. For in Mount Zion mm-hmm. and in Jerusalem. Jerusalem yeah. is the spiritual doctrine. Mm-hmm. Read. It's not the land. See, no. y'all carnally would think the land over there. Land mean doctrine. We don't right. get land in a minute. Okay. And in Jerusalem mm-hmm. shall be deliverance. You're going to get deliverance from knowing Christ's doctrine. He don't care nothing about that land over there that them people fighting and dying for. They ain't got nothing to do with salvation. Them people fighting and dying for nothing. All right. He don't care about that land. That land can't even grow nothing. They're shipping everything into that place. But that place is desolate. But he do care that they're killing each other. Now he care about that. Right. Because that's a different doctrine. That's not Christ's doctrine. If you hate your brother, you in violation of Christ's doctrine. Right. But read on. As the Lord have said, mm-hmm. and in the remnant mm-hmm. whom the Lord shall call. Only a few people gonna figure this out. Yep. All right. But them people gonna get caught up in that hate. They ain't gonna be able to turn their back on that hate. They're gonna love that hate. And they're not gonna get salvation. John, back to John 6. Yeah, John 6 and 16. We might be at 17 by now. Yes, but you see. These little words make a difference. All right, so read that again. And entered into a ship. So somebody getting ready to start teaching. Ships, a prophet getting ready to start teaching. Mm -hmm. Read. And went over the sea toward Capernaum. So this is the doctrine that this man teaching. Y'all see that? He teaching a doctrine, excuse me, called Capernaum. Okay? Read. And it was now dark. Nobody didn't understand about this doctrine. You see that? So everybody ignorant to this doctrine. Read. And Jesus was not come to them. They're not using two or three to explain it. Y'all see that? They're not using Christ's doctrine. That makes sense? Right. Okay. It right. was not come to them. Yes. <laughs> They're not using his doctrine. <laughs> they right. got you thinking that Christ was he was over on somewhere else and they had left and went on ahead and went out in the sea and he came and walked over the sea to the ship <laughs> <laughs> but it ain't saying that whenever you understand what the words mean mm-hmm. all right? right and just so for me just to say when you just said understanding what the words mean so I've written down all kind of meanings and from what you guys said so basically when you pick up the Bible and you just start reading it I, I, I mean, your ass just really just lost yes. until you know the meaning of each right. word and everything what's going on in there. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. you can't just pick it up and start reading in the beginning because mm-hmm. that has a different meaning. It's got you know, a different people meaning. talking about water and the ark and everything. Because, I mean, we hear about Noah and the ark. Then yeah. we found out that uh, uh, I haven't got in my notes where ark was it but i mean it's just it's something totally different yeah yes. it's a ship you know which is a man <laughs> right. yeah. yeah he it's was a on. metaphor for a man mm-hmm. all right go ahead i just wanted to get that yeah. in that you just can't yeah, pick it up here read because you yeah. just lost and yes yeah. yes yeah, yeah, I, I mean but but, but we're, we're going to get in a little bit but that's what uh the first day when you said in the beginning mm-hmm. that first verse is what he's talking what you're talking about right now what you just said Wizzo. Yes. In the beginning, it was darkness, meaning you didn't mm-hmm. understand it. You just picked it up and started reading. It. Right. right. You didn't have any wisdom. That's why I said right. it was darkness. You see what I'm saying? Nobody knew, right. but you knew love your brother. You yeah. knew that. Yeah. In some some form of way, you knew either love your brother as you love yourself or love your, mm-hmm. you knew some kind of way of loving your brother, be at peace with people, but you didn't know the Bible. That's what Genesis 1 and 1 is talking about. I'm yeah. paraphrasing it for right now. We'll yeah. get into it later. But that's yeah. what you're saying is exactly what it says in the beginning. That's what he's yeah. talking about. Yes. Next verse. Yes. And the sea arose by reason mm-hmm. of a great wind that blew. Now, we said wind was doctrine, right? So now if wind start blowing and that sea start moving kind of tempestuously, can y'all see how that might be a disagreement mm-hmm. or an argument about what it means? Can y'all see that? 
So basically, the disciples were arguing. They're arguing right. about the meaning of this Capernaum doctrine. That makes sense. All right. Verse nineteen. Because now y'all know what wind means, <laughs> and it blew. Mm -hmm. That and means the teaching. Right. Y'all see that? They're disagreeing or misunderstanding this man's teaching. Right. Read verse nineteen. Mm -hmm. So when they had rowed about mm -hmm. five and twenty mm -hmm. or thirty furlongs do y'all see two or three right there <laughs> do y'all see that <laughs> see? <laughs> 20 or 30 four furlongs you see that do you see that right here that's his doctrine two or three right. two or three you see that yeah that's the doctrine so whenever they had rolled about two so they asking for some precept mm -hmm. right Read. They see Jesus walking on the sea. They got the understanding now with the two or three. They've started preaching using Christ's method. Does that make sense to you? Because mm -hmm. they now have the understanding of that doctrine of Capernaum because they started using the two or three to figure out what them words mean. Mm -hmm. That makes sense, Wizzo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. with you. Yeah. Yep. Read. And, and drawing nigh unto the ship. So he's coming. The, the guy who's teaching is starting to get the understanding, too. Mm hmm Read. And they were afraid. Okay. Now, that word afraid means doubt. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me show you. Go to Matthew. 14 verse 30 afraid that don't mean that they scared because they saw some mystical supernatural ghost walking on the water that's not what that means say 14 what 30 matthew 14 and 30 going 30 and 31 so you can see right mm -hmm. matthew chapter 14 verse 30 Mm -hmm. But when he saw the wind boisterous, mm -hmm. he was afraid mm -hmm. and beginning to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. OK, this is Peter. Next verse. Mm -hmm. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand mm -hmm. and caught him mm -hmm. and said unto him, O thou of little faith, mm -hmm. wherefore, wherefore didst thou doubt? His fear was his doubt. You see that? Mm -hmm. Go to um, um, John. One more, one more, and then we get this. Okay, go ahead. And when they come into the ship, mm -hmm. the wind ceased. <laughs> see that? He, he, he cleared up the argument. You see that? Mm -hmm. The wind stopped blowing. You see that? They didn't have any more arguments. He he gave them the understanding. That makes sense. That's what that's talking about. So go back to uh go back to John uh, six. Six. Seventeen or eighteen. Uh it might have been an eighteen. It might have been a nineteen too. Which one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had the furlong yeah, yeah. Mm hmm John okay. six and nineteen. Mm -hmm. So when they had rowed about five and twenty or thirty furlongs, two or three, they started using two or three to get the understanding. See that? Read. They, they see Jesus. They understand the the Jesus <laughs> in the preacher. See right. mean wisdom. All right. right. Yeah. That's the light. Okay. <laughs> Read. Walking on the sea. Preaching. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Reaching over that doctrine. His doctrine is above the confusion. You see that? Right. The two or three gave them understanding. You see that? That's what walking on water means. Mm -hmm. They got the understanding. All and right. And drawing nigh into the ship. Coming close to the ship. The guy who was teaching it starting to get the understanding after using the two or three. And they were afraid. Because they they doubted him initially, right? Before they started using them two or three. Next verse. 
but he has said, but he has said unto them, it is I. Mm -hmm. Be not afraid. If you got my doctrine, don't doubt it. Because using my doc my doctrine, I can prove what the word means. You see that? Don't doubt my doctrine. Mm -hmm. Read. Verse 21. Mm -hmm. Then they willingly received him unto the ship. So now the guy accepted the understanding using the two or three. That makes sense? You got to be willing. That's why I said only a remnant going to get it. Because them people going to still be out there arguing. That ship going to be tossing and turning in that water because people going to be arguing about what's right. Whenever Christ said you can establish or prove what you say, what the Bible is saying, using two or three. All right. So they received him on the ship, meaning the man started teaching Christ doctrine. Right. That makes sense. Read the parables. And immediately yeah. the ship was at the land, whether they went. So they got understanding of the doctrine. Land means doctrine. Mm -hmm. All right. Land means doctrine. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 3 and 1. Go, go to that right quick. Once you know what these words mean, do, does it does the parable make sense to you? That's the that's the question, uh, Wizzo. Right, right. Yeah, it's it's starting to, but I'm telling you, I'm lost. I mean, you guys are shedding a lot of light on it, but that's good. But, but ask um, the question. That's yeah, why yes. it's important. Ask the question so that we can clear it up. That's why we hear right. it. Right. Explain the part that you don't understand. But we about to make you understand what this land means right quick. Read that. Three and one. They say, mm -hmm. if a man put away his wife, his wife is his doctrine. Read, and she go from him. So he get he he stopped teaching that woman that doctrine, right? And become another man's. So another man go. He had heard the doctrine before, and then he start following that doctrine and teaching that doctrine. Read. Shall he return unto her again? He ain't supposed to go back to that old doctrine he threw away. So basically what he's saying is like, you just seeing Christ walking on water wasn't that. And now you supposed mm -hmm. to go back to carnally thinking that a man walking on water again? Correct. You supposed to drop that that understanding that you, that old understanding that you had. Once you right. get proven that it, that's not what it means. That's what, that's what it's talking about with the foolish Galatians. The foolish Galatians, they got, they learned the doctrine of Christ but then they turned back and went back to the old way of thinking. That's what a foolish Galatian is. All right. Read. Shall not that shall not that land be polluted? He just said that land, that doctrine is polluted now. That belief system is polluted. That's why you left it. Right. Like we like we 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 use the analogy of okay, you grow up smoking cigarettes. Right. Then right. you quit cigarettes. Somebody else, you somebody else take them cigarettes that you had. Then you walking down the street, you see that person over there. You done gave up cigarettes. Then you say, "Hey man, you got a cigarette?" Mm -hmm. Now you done went and picked up a bad doctrine of smoking that you had thrown away. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like what he's saying. That makes sense. Right. But he's using the word land to describe the doctrine. Right. Land means doctrine. I'm going to make it give an example after this. Mm -hmm. Read. But thou hast played the harlot so you with going many against, lovers. You going against the most highest doctrine. The people have been going against the most highest doctrine following other defiled doctrines. Read. Yet return again to me, said the Lord. Then you come back. So you dibbing and dabbling. You see what I'm saying? You won't you won't stand with them with the most highest doctrine. You keep like, okay, you learn this. Okay, I learned about this. I learned about that. But then you continue to do the same old belief system going up and there, giving them people that money in church and all that other stuff. Right. 
See what so I'm saying? I, so I got a question, Wizzo. Is Jerusalem is a land, right? Carnally. You would think it is a land, right? Right. Okay, now let's get what the Bible says. To back up the land. 51. Yeah, 51 and 50. Yep. Yep. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 50. Ye that have escaped the sword. The sword is the word of God, Ephesians 6 17. Okay. Go away. Stand not still. Mm -hmm. Remember the Lord afar off. In your doctrine. Remember to go back to that doctrine. And let Jerusalem come into your mind. Your mind. It's a land. It's in your mind. Did you, yeah. did you see it? <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> it's a name. Right. It's, I mean, you know, I'm with you guys some, and then on some of it, I just got to tell you shit, I'm about as lost. I mean, like, you know, that's that's I'm not why I just asked the question. Okay, we got another one. We're right, and I'm not going to get it all tonight. You know, no, no, some no, no. of my viewers are, are watching I'm sh and they yeah. ride along with you guys. But yeah. because if I got the preacher up there and he's talking about Jesus walked on water, I'm not going to think he's talking about the word. I'm going to be thinking about water. Yeah. You know, right. Not that's knowing. how you get tricked. That's right. how you get tricked. That's, that's why he said you that you got to prove it. That's them false yeah. prophets. The false right. prophets don't use the 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 method that Christ told us to use. Now nobody can just with a with a, a flash memory just get up in there and remember all this stuff. That's why right. the scriptures say study to show thyself yeah, approved. Yep. So you got to study that. this thing. That's what I'm saying. When we say don't trust no man, start right. using this method so you can get the understanding for yourself. Don't pay mm -hmm. no man to go up and then tell you something. He get up and right. start lying to. You. And let me mm -hmm. ask you this: since you said this method. I mean, so how does one, and I don't want to take you off from, uh, no, no, no. from where you guys are going, no, no. but when you're talking about learn this method, you know, how does someone like me learn this method? I mean, I pick up the Bible, but it sounds like you guys are doing a lot of cross-referencing with this oh, and going yeah. back to okay. that. And Here's the uh, thing, though. We've already done the hard part. <laughs> <laughs> we got the videos. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Go to, listen, our website, well, our YouTube page is Elders of Israel. Right. Go to Elders of Israel. We've been teaching this thing for a number of years. Yeah, I right? follow you guys, and I've hey, been in on some of it. You go to the first, the first lessons, because that's where all of this foundation is. All right, it starts telling you what those little words mean. The land. Right. We got a class called the land. Mm -hmm. The woman the man all those little in, individual words purple thorns you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's it's telling all of those words mean something and you right. can get uh, an understanding of what those words mean because that's your foundation this is the elementary part finding right. out are, what those words mean also we got one of the animals it's called uh yes. you won't sport, but you learn from swine yes you can watch that one that, that that explain what the animals are yeah, but here's a to answer your question. Here it is, right here. Uh, okay. that over? Hebrews chapter five, verse twelve. Mm -hmm. For when, for the time ye ye ought to be teachers. So there's a time for that. All right, it was always a time for when for you to be teacher to teach. There's a time for that. It may not be right now. You understand? Because you're coming into it. Read. Ye have need that one teach you again. So now you have to unlearn everything that you thought you knew. That's the first thing. Like we just said, somebody walking on water, you got to forget that. That ain't what that means. You got to right. start dropping that stuff out your mind. That's the first thing you got to do. Read. Which be the first principles of the oracles of God. Uh huh. So that's the first principle is to forget everything you learned, what you thought you knew. I had to that's do it. <laughs> Everybody here that learned, we had to do it. Because I thought right. it was one thing the same way. We didn't just get this overnight. It mm -hmm. took time for us to get our mind around what he's saying. Mm -hmm. it, didn't, right. it didn't come overnight. Read. And 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 whenever it says uh, 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 you got to be taught again, that means you have to fast. The word fast don't mean stop eating. Ooh, Eat no, I mean learn. Right. 
say let me say something on that right there yeah. because I hear a lot of people talking about you know fasting and the Bible is talking about fasting or whatever and I I don't know but I'm like well sound like you know Jesus God wants you to eat but they don't want right. you to go without eating <laughs> right so, so you they don't know what this. it means so right. we just showed you what bread was now we're gonna show you what milk and meat is this is what he talking right. about Greek and are become such as have need for milk milk and not strong meat because you're born again so you saying you need milk when you're a baby so that mm -hmm. means you need to get the easy stuff like we're showing you right now the water is the word that's easy you got to get this the simple stuff first before you start getting into the deep stuff yes. right the meat is the deep stuff you need to chew that you yeah. get what i'm saying yeah. you can't chew that when you're a baby you ain't got no teeth right <laughs> Right, teeth mean doctrine. You got you ain't got no understanding. Right. right. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. So you see what milk means that's easy understanding. Right now you're getting milk. It may yeah. seem deep to everybody because it seems confusing. It's because it's milk. You're getting a lot of milk tonight. Right? Right. Read. For he is a babe. Not carnally, but mentally in the word of God, you are a babe. Because you're yes. just learning this new doctrine. Yes. But strong meat belongs to them that are of full age. That's us that have been sitting here doing this for what, three, four years? We've been yeah. doing this. Going, We had to sit out here and find out what the meat is. We see mm -hmm. a word, we had to stop. Because let me tell you, you'll read it and you'll start doing it. You'll start picturing a man on the boat. Then you yeah, gotta yeah. stop yourself and say, okay, yes. what is the water is water? Let me find out what the water is. You gotta keep doing that until yes. you break your break that curse out your mind. Yeah, you have to do that. Okay, it's yes. an animal. Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. No, no, no. The man didn't put new animals on a boat. Right. Okay, or well, ship is right. him. No, it's a ship. Okay, what is the animals? So then you gotta go look up what the animals ain't no are. donkey ever talk. <laughs> right. Yeah. Ain't no donkey ever <laughs> talk. That, that, it comes with time that's what he's telling you it's not an overnight thing and those who are just watching this right now i know it's like well it's it's not an overnight thing it's going to take you some time to understand this we just been doing it for a minute that's why we're able to explain it to you right, right? yeah yeah i mean i'm like you say i'm i'm on the milk i'm the baby so y'all yeah, got yeah. y'all teeth so y'all eat the meat <laughs> right but so. that's why we, we we patient we ain't going nowhere right yeah, you right, got a yeah. question you ask it and we're going right. to explain it that's our job what it means right really? uh but strong meat belongs to them that are of full age that's us that have been doing it for a minute we're a full age right mm -hmm. really? even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil like you just said at the beginning it's an exercise so yeah. you when you first pick up that bible <clears throat> You're going to read the sea, the water, or whatever the case, your mind going to automatically think water. The first thing is going to think because mm -hmm. that's what's been planted in your mind. Mm -hmm. So you have to do the exercise to understand if it's good or evil. Why? Mm -hmm. By getting the two or three, putting the water in your Bible app and look around, and searching each scripture until you find a water scripture that you can explain. Not what I can explain, what you right. can explain. Yeah. Because God going to give it to you. Yes. You see what I'm saying? I can't I can't give you that. You may say, hey, can I see this? It may not be for that person, but you understand how to break it down. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of scriptures with water in it. Yes. Right? We find the ones that we use that is easy for us because we used it and exercised it enough. So mm -hmm. it came to memory. But mm -hmm. you right. may find another one that we never even seen before. God may yes. give it to you. Yes. You know right. And then as you start to collect these words, you start to understand these parables, then you're going to start getting the meat. You start chewing the meat. But you got to fast from that other meat that you learned. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see, because right. you got all that meat from the, the movies, yeah. from National Geographic, from history books. That's all different from church. meat. From yeah. church. Church. Yeah. That's all different meat. Yes. But that ain't God meat. Right. That's the pastor meat. Because mm. God speak different. Mm -hmm. right. Hold on. Let me get that uh, Ezekiel 3. Mm -hmm. Let's eat. So you were saying that the the, the first uh, lesson to be one to go and watch on the YouTube, the Elders of Israel, their first lesson. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's purple thorns. Yep, start yeah. at those and go all the way yeah. up. That's the only way you're going yeah. you're going to start getting the exercise. Yeah, because if Cause you start first, now, we 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 so far ahead, right? 
like they say, the water has risen, right? People have been following uh, along with us uh, for, for years, right? right? But we've increased in the understanding. They, they've increased along. We ain't the only elders out there. No, right. right. It's elders everywhere. Because they've been, because yeah. the thing is, it's elders out there probably know more than we know. Yeah. That's yeah. just the fact. Because the most high determined what profit all them people had doggone been teaching the word and all that other stuff then david came along and he doggone converting ten thousand people at one time right. Right. you understand that man was smart you got certain people that they just got aptitude to do certain things and you mm -hmm. sit there and you just like wow how did they do that you right. know so anybody can get the word but the most high he the one who determined who gonna be that person that's that's outstanding that's what mm -hmm. Christ was. He was a man. But the Most High gave him a certain level of understanding. That guy named Jesus, that mm -hmm. the, the, the guy named Jesus, he he saw a pattern when he read the scriptures. The Most High said, yep, that's the one right there. He opened up his understanding, just like Noah. All them people was teaching all that stuff. And then he went and he said, Noah, that is right there. And Noah started, his mind started learning what those scriptures meant that's what happened okay right. the most high give you to understand well, let's read this here ezekiel three and one moreover he said unto me son of man eat that thou findest eat this roll so now you're going you ain't going to eat a scroll mm-hmm Cause remember the, the word back then was supposed to be on a, on a roll right <laughs> right you're not gonna eat that roll the roll was talking no. about the word see that <laughs> and go speak unto the house of israel that's all of these people that's watching right now you the house of israel yes so i opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll mm -hmm. he's learning Yep, he's learning. He's learning. Now, see, when you say in that roll, you know what I'm gonna think. You're thinking about a bread. piece of bread. I'm thinking about a piece of bread. I'm thinking yeah. that well, what, I guess bread, eat, eat this bread. With the, we just the bread. What bread. What was the bread? Bread of wisdom. Right, right. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> that's see? why it's that's why whenever you start looking at it and you start seeing, man, it's is two Bibles in one. Mm -hmm. One carnal that you see. And then you got the spiritual that's underneath that you don't see unless you got the two or three to explain what the words mean. Mm -hmm. You're going to get salvation off of that. The, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven that we was talking about. That's the mystery. Using the method that Christ left. You see that? And he said unto me, son of man, cause thy belly to eat. The belly is your mind. Mm-hmm. And fill thy bowels with this robe that I give thee. And that's uh first Peter 1 and 13. Let you know the the uh the uh, uh loins of the mind. Right. Loins is your belly, loins of the mind. He's comparing loins with mind. He's letting Christ you know said, out of your belly, belly you have uh flowing water. That's mm -hmm. another one. Yep. Water is the word, right? See that. Then did I eat, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. You go down to five. We... Now, look how he said it was in his mouth for, as honey for sweetness. Right. The land of milk and honey. And honey, yep. <laughs> Think about that. Land is the doctrine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's milk what Moses and them was going to get. The you see what the milk, milk was. And honey. Yeah. You see what the milk was. Yeah. Now you see what the honey is. Yes. You see that it's all a metaphor. The whole Bible is a metaphor. Mm -hmm. Right. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them. Let me show you how his words are. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech mm -hmm. and of an hard language, 
but to the house of Israel. Because some people think that it's a hard speech, but it's not. Once you get it, you're going to get it. Yeah. Once it just you start takes... practicing, it's going to come to you. You're going to be sitting up there like, boom, 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 boom. I see that. Boom. Right, that means call... something else. Right, right. Cause right now, it's not no boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's it, all right. It, it, it ain't come right. to me like that. <laughs> we gonna go back. Like that. Yep. We gonna go back, and we gonna we gonna go right back to uh, John six, six and we gonna read it again, right? And then you gonna see it better when you keep doing it. You got to practice. It's just like somebody playing football, right? They might sit there and make you run that play the whole. I mean, just just learning how to hit them pads. It right. might take hours. You like, man, I've been going coming out here, man. All we doing is hitting these pads, man. All we doing is hitting these pads. And then after a while, you get further along in that season, you start seeing why it's important to have them pads up on you. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's yeah. how that works. That's how this works. You got to keep hitting them pads in that Bible. So let's so read you got it your again. notes, Wizzle, you got your notes, right? <laughs> Brother, all right. All right. All over the place, but I got you because I'm gonna ask you from your notes and those at home that's sitting there watching. You can type in the chat. I'm gonna ask certain questions so you can start to get it. All right, read, uh, read. Elder. I'm gonna read it, Elder. And when even even was now come, his even in means darkness. What is darkness? Stupid. Yeah, ignorance. Yes. <laughs> yes. When the stupidity well, was you now sound like you from Texas. So let me cut to the chase for you. Right. <laughs> when evening was now come. So he's so telling when the stupidity you. was now come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> basically, you got it right. Mm -hmm. His disciples yeah. went down unto the sea. So they going down. They was up and they was up and understanding. Right. Now they go down. Right. Meaning day and evening, they in ignorance of the next class that's be getting ready to be taught. Mm -hmm. He gonna tell you what the name of the class is. Next verse. And entered into a ship. From your notes, what's the ship there, uh, Wizzo? The prophet. Yes. There you go. So somebody <laughs> getting ready to start teaching. You see mm -hmm. that? Read. It went over the sea. What's water? Oh, you yeah. asking me what's water? Yeah, what's the water? Yeah, oh, the water? word. Okay, I, okay. I, I, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. Well, over this, the, the water, the word toward mm -hmm. Capernaum, which is a doctrine. That's the name of the class he's teaching. He's teaching the doctrine of Capernaum. You see that? Name mean doctrine. Right. So he's getting ready to teach a course on the doctrine of Capernaum. Right. Okay. And see it was that? now dark. So they stupid. You said dark <laughs> means stupid. They don't they don't know anything about this doctrine. Cold you see that? He's stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> and Jesus was not come to them. They not using Jesus's method to get understanding, which is two or three precepts to tell you what the definition of the words are to translate what the Bible saying carnally to what it means spiritually. That makes sense. Okay. What you say clear as mud. <laughs> <laughs> but that's cool though. That's cool. Now we gotta make sure. Mm -hmm. And the sea arose. Go ahead. By reason of a great wind that blew. Okay. So the wind is a doctrine if it's blowing right so now it's confusion this guy is teaching and they're disagreeing or doubting what he's teaching that makes sense and your notes what's the wind this is how you can look at it because i know it's all over the place what was the wind in your notes Wizzo? well i got the uh, doctrine yes uh, there you go so there you know the yeah. great what doctrine mm -hmm. that blue mm -hmm. you got it so when they had rowed about five and 20 or 30 furlongs, I know you see 20 and 30, right? Right. And you're talking you, about two or three. Yes. There you go. That's what he talked about. Yes. It went to the precepts. Yes. 
they see Jesus walking on the sea. See me understanding. They understand Jesus' method. Mm -hmm. you, using his method, they starting to get the understanding of what this man teaches. And drawing nigh unto the ship. So they getting close to the understanding. All right. That man who teaching, he getting understanding as well. Right. And they were afraid. But they still doubted him. Right. But he has said unto them, it is I. Be not afraid. If you using the, they understand that if they using the two or three method, it's going to prove what the man teaching. You see that? You won't have any doubt if you use two or three precepts to explain what them words mean. Mm -hmm. Right. Next verse. Then they willingly received him into the ship. Okay, so now they understand because they use the two or three to, to tell them what the words mean in the Bible. Just like you looking in the Bible trying to figure out about Moses splitting the Red Sea. All right, <laughs> if you keep using two or three to what them words mean, you're going to figure out where he was actually teaching. Mm -hmm. He split the sea, meaning he had the carnal understanding and he had the spiritual understanding he was able to cause the sea it's got a whole that bible big right mm -hmm. how can you find a path of understanding in that big bible he was able to give the people the understanding he could break what the scriptures mean he can break them down mm -hmm. that's all it's saying that he did let me just ask you guys yeah. this just about what do you think you know oh or why do you think that the preachers now today is not teaching like this? I mean, it's just in because, your own opinion. Because there's no money in this. Yeah. Most high law say, don't take money for my word. Period. I we ain't making a nickel thing. off this thing, bro. Right. You got to you got to be called. That's why he say many called, but few chosen. Because them, right. them pastors gonna want that money. Right. I mean, you can't pay. You can't pay pay for that. Uh, for that new Lexus sitting up right. here talking about. Let's go to two or three. Right. No, he got to get mm -hmm. that money because then you right. find out it's free. Cause I just showed you it's free. It's free. Right. I'll show you. Read that and, and just before you cover that, just since we was talking about on money, since I've started my podcast, people say, "Well, you can make money. You can make money." Well, I tell them I'm not making jack i mean on mm -hmm. this podcast at all mm -hmm. and that has not been my goal to mm -hmm. make any money on it whatever and people be all mainly the ones that's telling me that too don't even su subscribe to my channel right. don't support me or anything like that right. but they want right. to tell me how much money i can make well i know what i've spent on it and i've spent over right. 15 grand on it and i ain't trying to make no money right that's why i'm my guests mm -hmm. i let them know hey come on i appreciate you coming on but yeah I ain't got nothing to pay you, so but I know right. what you're saying about that money. Right, right. That's the thing that mm -hmm. that usually this, the Most High. If you, he say, if you can't, you 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 got to be able to to drink this cup. All right, you can't you can't go to the left or to the right. All right, you got to do what he said. Cause you get up in there and you start showing. Cause people people hear what you say, but they look at your example. Right. Christ led by mm -hmm. example. If they sit up in there and they see you doing something that's outside of what he told you to do, right? It might be that person say, well, since he did that, I might be able to get away with that. So now you teaching him a different doctrine than what right. the Most High told you to teach. And if the Most High told you to teach it this way, this guy learned the wrong way, he going to destroy that guy, but he going to hold you accountable too. Because right. you didn't teach him right. <clears throat> so... But I'm going to read this for you so you can you can understand why the Most High called these people certain names. Mm -hmm. Job chapter 12, verse 6. The tabernacles of the robbers prosper. They're robbers. They robbing the people because we just showed you that the word of God is supposed to be taught free. Right. So if they're not, if you're putting 10% and they can't explain to you what a tithe is, 
Mm-hmm. And they sit back and tell you that, oh, that was fruits and vegetables. Yeah, that's what they did back then. Mm-hmm. But then you say, okay, what's the fruit and vegetables in the Bible? Because God got a different Ooh. understanding what that is. That's food. That's, that's food. Wisdom. Ties is questions and answers. Yes. Like when you ask a question, that's a tie. Yes. Hmm. That's what the, tithe is. the most yeah. high gave you some understanding. You go to the priest to see whether or not it's righteous. That's your offering. Mm-hmm. He go up and then he scrutinizing it. He propping, he press, he cutting up that, he cutting up that meat that you just gave him. Putting it on the fire. The fire is the word. Mm-hmm. Then whenever he get it right, then now you get credit for bringing that information. That's your offering. You offer that understanding to be shared with everybody in the congregation. See that? It ain't talking about no money. None. It's not talking about money. Because that's the case, then the the, the apostles would have been rich. Yes. Right. (laughs) But they weren't. The tabernacles of robbers prosper. Mm -hmm. And they that provoke God are secure. Into whose hand God bringeth abundantly. So he's going to get those um pastors those tabernacle robbers that's robbing the people because right. think about nationwide now i'm talking about because you, you see churches on every especially in the south you see churches on every corner yeah mm-hmm. some type of religion on every corner sucking money out of the people mm-hmm. the people getting poor but they getting rich yes like i said yeah. fruit is the word right let me show you Cause they say when you go in there and you see it you gotta ask them what is the fruit yes all of this stuff whenever you know what the stuff mean and i know right now it's difficult yeah. because this is a very new concept and you have to be dedicated to figure out what it means but the thing is after it's like repetition like whenever you was whenever you was uh young well, the, the teacher they taught you through a, through a, through rhymes, or they thought taught you through a song. You see what I'm saying? And you kept repeating the song, and the next thing you know, you got understanding of these numbers, and you got understanding of these uh, letters and stuff like that. You know, you got to start like he said, you obey. But over time, you get stronger, you get stronger, and you get stronger because you now are actually a man, so you got the ability to reason. So you can study and say, well, okay, I want to get better at this. So I'm going to devote a little bit of time. You know, I ain't got to <laughs> devote the whole day. You know, I take right. little, you know, 30 minutes, you know, trying to figure out what some of these words mean. I got these words written down. Okay. So whenever I see this word, it means this. When I see this word, it means that, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just go through on your Bible app to try and see some instances where he's using that word so you can get the context of what he's talking about. Like That's here's right. fruit. Here's a, here's a good example. Here's fruit. Proverbs 13 and 2. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth. There's eat and there's fruit. Dealing with the mouth. So that what he, when you read that this part right here, Wizzo, what is that? Can you see what that's talking about? Sorry. A man should eat uh eat good f- by the fruit of his mouth. Mm-hmm. I, no, I'm just take a guess. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about mouth. What it's talking about? It's talk, talking about teaching or preaching. What he teaching? What's coming out of his mouth? Oh, what's that? coming? Okay, what's coming yeah. out of his mouth? Mm-hmm. Right. Read. A man yeah. shall eat or learn by the fruit of his mouth. See okay. that? I would. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even. Yeah, have it's to. a metaphor. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. A metaphor. Yeah. But the soul of the transgressors shall eat violence. See that? It's two different things. How you eat violence? You see what I'm saying? You're learning by yeah. it. Yes. You see what I'm saying? It's a metaphor. Let me give He's you one. It in that context. Yeah, first it's the reason why we use Christ, because yeah. Christ, he kind of broke it down easy for people. That's why mm-hmm. he spoke a parable. He yeah. understood it. And so it looks, it's way easier. Yeah, he had a really good way of teaching. But when you see it, you see it. You just have to practice it. The reason why them people was following him was because he was teaching it in a different way. And them people was amazed that they could see the secret writings underneath 
because they never paid attention to it. But he started saying, well, this sub substitute this word for this. Substitute this word for this. Mm -hmm. And you'll understand what it's saying. He saw the pattern. Mm -hmm. That's all. Matthew 7, 15. Beware of false prophets, mm -hmm. which come to you in sheep's clothing. Now, sheep don't wear clothes, right? right? So once you start searching the scriptures, you understand that clothing, garments, armor of God, it's all talking about the word. The sheep's is his followers, the followers of God. Remember? The right. flock is the is, is is the followers of God. My pet was the, my pastors of uh the flock so of my Ezekiel pastors. Of 30, 34 and 31. Yeah. Yeah. So the sheep clothing, so it's gonna be a doctrine similar to his. Mm -hmm. That's what it's showing you. They're but, tricking you, they're deceiving you. Yes. You know the metaphor when you're reading it. When you say you're a wolf in sheep clothing, you know what that means. Somebody yeah. tricking you. Yeah. yeah. But but inwardly they are ravening wolves. She said inwardly. Say you see what I'm saying? That's their doctrine. Okay. Yep. Yeah, they teaching the doctrine of wolves. They 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 dangerous to you. You ain't gonna be able to get salvation because they lying to you. You believe in they lie. Verse 16. Ye shall know them by their fruits. So the false prophets you should know them by their fruits you see right. what i'm saying now you mm -hmm. see what the fruit is now you starting yeah. to see it they're dying. Well, they, yeah yeah what, what yeah, they're they're teach. yeah that's what they what, teach what they what they what they prophesy mm -hmm. prophesying mm -hmm. sorry mm -hmm. do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles so the fruit that they have if if it's if if if, if you gathering uh fruit you ain't trying to gather no fruit that's got a bunch of thorns around because it, it's gonna mm -hmm. stick you. right so he's telling you to be of them people that's all he's saying it's a metaphor yeah. it's a metaphor even that's so okay. it's okay it's okay yeah, it's so it. I'm, it. I'm you know, telling you it took up. us a minute and those yeah. at home don't get discouraged i know you're like what the what don't yeah. get discouraged yeah. it took us a while yeah. too it took us yeah. a while it, yeah. we didn't get it overnight it is it is definitely something but uh let me let me uh do this right quick just thank my viewers again for uh tapping in and appreciating they've been showing a bunch of scriptures and stuff like that to uh to uh reference and everything like that but uh guys i'm approaching uh, my two hour mark is yeah. where i usually go yeah so, <laughs> already yes yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I would, uh, see if you guys just like to give any type of closing comments before we get ready to get out here because i usually right. only go for about like two hours two hours okay, okay. so well, quick I, and i didn't turn the page on, on notes over here okay yeah. that's all right, all right though so i know the it, other question was uh christ's body right right um well why don't we just, just why don't we just go ahead and, and do it on another time instead of you know uh splitting it up and that'll get us an opportunity to go ahead and because by the I, time I, we come back We'll be I was able. gonna give them what Christ's body was, so they can they can automatically start thinking. Okay. Because okay. the y'all the question was, what happened to the body of Christ? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. So, real quick, I'm just gonna run real quick. I know you about to leave. I just want to give them because I didn't want to leave yeah, them like ahead. that. I know we was everywhere today, yeah. and the, that's where the spirit took us. So, let's get yeah. what the body of Christ is, and we're gonna understand mm -hmm. what it's talking about. It's not. Is it physically, carnally, his body? No. Read that real quick, Elder. Romans chapter 12, verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. Like Elder said earlier, there's people that can explain things better than other people. Mm -hmm. Like there may be somebody to come along that can explain this better than I could. Mm -hmm. Right? I may have known it, but he didn't know how to explain it better. So I don't have the same office. So we, being many, are one body in Christ. Are what? One body in Christ. Uh-huh. And every one members one of another. All right. Real quick, real quick, real quick. I want you guys to know when he say what happened to the body of Christ. I'm just going to give you the precepts. You guys can do the study until we come back again. You're going to say the same thing again. Verse 12, for as the body is one 
and hath many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body mm -hmm. so also is Christ one body with Christ for by one spirit are we all baptized into one body okay whether we be Jews or Gentiles so what that mean is we're the Jews because we have the spiritual doctrine the Gentiles believe in God but you have a far off your doctrine's far off that's all it means you have yeah. a belief in God but not how God said to do it you make not sure according Gentile. to knowledge yeah right Read. whether we be bond or so free be, being bond or free we're free because we're free to roam this Bible. We're free because we understand what the scriptures mean. You're bonded when you're bonded to a religion or a belief system. Yes. That's how it has to be. Me? And have been all made to drink into one spirit. One spirit. We go down to 25. I just want to give you guys what the body of Christ is. that there should be no schism in the body because you may have different beliefs right so there's no schism this is what he said but that the members should have the same care one for another love your brother mm -hmm. so if you didn't understand anything deep in this bible understand that you should have care for your brother or sister whatever mm -hmm. no matter what race it is you're supposed to have care for one another and that will drop drop down to 27 that will make you what now ye are the body of Christ and members in particular now you are a member of the body of Christ so when they say they removed the body of Christ that means they remove his understanding yeah that's the short yeah. way I'm giving y'all the right. short way for right now. We'll go yeah, deeper yeah. into it next time you ever yeah. have a song, but I'm just yeah. showing y'all what the body of Christ is. It's they took over his Christ. church. Yes. Yeah. That's all it was. They took over his church. All yes. right. All his followers. Yes. So I'm going to try and summarize what we went over. Right. <laughs> okay. What we have learned from what we uh, told today, right? Uh, what we taught. Christ never walked on water. When it's talking about water, water is the word, okay? What it's telling you is, the Bible is not a history book, it's a book of prophecy. It's prophesying that in your day, prophets are going to be able to decipher what the Bible means using Christ's method. That's what walking on the water means, all right? He showed the people how to read the Bible. They use his doctrine to get the spiritual understanding of it. That's all the same. Ain't no man ever walked on no water. No. Right? That's a <laughs> Jewish fable. All right? The story of Jonah is very similar to the story of Christ walking on water. Jonah was on a ship. Who the ship? Jonah the ship. The ship is a prophet. You see that? Jonah is the Israelite. He told them people, I'm a Hebrew. Right? He said, I'm a Hebrew. Them people sitting up now like, wait a minute, man. The Bible said the Hebrews supposed to be the people that teach us. Like I said, the only reason uh, color is important is you know who the prophet is. The real prophet. He look a certain way. Alright? But they threw him in the water. What's the water? That's the word. He had to start studying. Because the it was turmoil in the sea. Them people was arguing about doctrines. It's a prophecy for now. Ain't everybody arguing saying that they doctrine better than everybody else doctrine. Right? So then he went into they threw him in the sea. And he went into that whale. Who the whale? What's a whale? What's an animal? It's a person, carnal person, mm -hmm. right? He was he was studying the 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 whale is Jonah. 
he the whale. He the ship and he the whale. Right? It's a metaphor for him. The Most High had to reteach Jonah. Remember that thing? We say, come the time where you need to be taught again. You need the milk first so that you can get that strong meat. He was in there three days. All right? So he got the... Remember the thing was 20 and 30 furlongs? Right. So he got to the point where he could prove what he was saying. Three days. He got the three. Three also is in the Bible. At the third level is when you convert to spiritual. That's what happened to him. Once he had that understanding, he vomited out that. He vomited out and he converted back onto land. He got a new doctrine. He converted. That's all the same. He converted from carnal understanding to spiritual understanding. Once he got the three days of understanding, he was ready to go and teach them people. Up until that point, he ain't had no understanding. That's why them people's in turmoil. They're like, oh, Lord, we don't know what to do. We about to, shank, we about to sink the ship. Because Jonah was stupid. You understand? He was stupid. The people on his ship are the people who the prophet's supposed to be teaching. He's the ship. Right now, you got these people on these prophets' ship, and it's turmoil because he ain't giving them no understanding. These prophets got to learn again. They got to learn God's doctrine. And then they're going to go and teach the people of Nineveh. That's the people. Nineveh was a, a, a city. They didn't have the doctrine of God. And Jonah went and taught them. That's what that's the that whole story we're talking about. Ain't no man lived three days in the well belly. That man got taught till he got to the level of understanding where he converted to oh, oh, understanding. All right. Yeah, all yeah, this stuff is simple. All right. Yeah, it's all we metaphor. Can, we, it's metaphor. Right. It's all a metaphor. And once you understand what those little words mean, that's why. And I know right now it seems like, man, this is this is ridiculous. I, there's no way I can. When you go back, right? When you got some time and you calm and you go and just go through that thing again. When you go and you put the video up and then you start looking at it again, you're going to get more and more understanding. You're going to be sitting up now like, man, I didn't see that before. Because it's all, it. it's all on right now. But whenever you go back, you're going to look, you're going to say, okay, I see what I mean. I see that. Mm -hmm. There's no rush, right? right. This is your time because everybody see what's happening. Everything about to get exciting here in a minute. Yep. Right. They ain't about to turn up. All right. We know it's the end because all up until this point, the doctrine never came back. Mm -hmm. Now the doctrine is out there. Mm -hmm. The coming of Christ is whenever his doctrine comes back. Christ is the doctrine. Yeah. Ain't going to be no Superman coming back and no Godzilla coming killing people. It ain't gonna be that. <laughs> it's gonna be the doctrine gonna come back. They don't know what it means. So when the doctrine comes back and the people start converting and learning the new doctrine, not learning the doctrine again, the most high gonna give you time to get the understanding, then he's gonna end it. You already yep. you already see what them people doing. Them people right, getting in war man. They told you in the last days man should be lovers of themselves. Now yeah. look how narcissistic the world is now. Yeah. We in this time, the doctrine is back. And you, like you said, just get your time together, learn the doctrine, and that's it. And if you don't have time to learn it, you don't feel like it, just love your brother. Yeah, It's just that it. easy. Don't hate hey, nobody. Bro. Just don't hate nobody. hate nobody. And if you have yes. hatred towards somebody, get right with that person. Yeah, cut them off. Say, I can't yeah. deal with you. I got to cut it. you off. Now, I know y'all yeah. see them, them beautiful people sitting up in there letting them, letting them, uh, them, uh, them, uh, them, uh, them booster rockets land on them on them doggone arms they catching them back and all that because i'm right. getting ready to get up out of here right okay because they know what's about to happen the beautiful people getting ready to get up out of here so i mean <laughs> it's almost over guys right. they showing you in your face they got you up in here worried about kamala harris and donald trump but them folks getting ready to get up out of here right and they're gonna leave everybody here to die all right because they're about to blow this thing up that's just the way it is. So hopefully, uh, again, we elders of Israel, you know, if you have the opportunity, we have a, a channel on YouTube. If you type in elders of Israel, you'll see us. You, we we uh, 
we have a stop lying emblem that lets you know it's us. All right. And uh, we appreciate you inviting us on here to uh, be able to at least try to give some understanding. Again, I know yeah. it's difficult because it's new. Yeah. But I promise you, if you keep going through that Bible, because most I made it easy, you can go on that Bible app yep. and you can see what's what. And you can go and you can say, oh, that do mean that. Oh, that do mean that. Incidentally, when you praying, you actually praying for understanding. That's what your prayer is. You praying right. to the most high to help me to see the spiritual part. So thanks again, Wizzo. We really appreciate it, man. Yeah. Man. I know it was long winded. It was long winded, yeah. but yeah. Most definitely. But you know, it, it was long winded, but it was well worth it. And I was, I'll say this because I've received a little feedback from the last time we were on. People were saying it was kind of lengthy and they just wanted the answer right then, right now. And then if you just gave them that, then they said, well, show me. So yes, you exactly. guys went on and showed them now. Yes. So it's up to them if they want to stick around and go on and watch it and, and listen as right. I did and as I took notes. It's always a pleasure having you guys on. I'll and you know, I appreciate you. And we would definitely have you back again. I want to thank all my viewers for watching, tapping in, and their comments and everything like that. And uh, Governor, you froze up. But, uh, <laughs> I know. Right. We, 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 we they, got got me at a, they got me at a good angle, though. You know, right. Yeah. High, you know. <laughs> God, with, with God bless y'all. I appreciate y'all to the fullest. And thanks for being on Wizzo Talk. And we see it to the next time. All, all right. Bro. Paul Wizzo. I'll let yeah. you go. All right, all right. bro. <laughs>